you're good to go, I... I have a mission of the utmost importance for you. I need someone I can trust to collect. Maple syrup. You're the right. Maple syrup. Should you choose to accept this mission, I shall share my best kept secret with you. My favorite maple syrup spot. More details will be shared with you in due course. Your objective? An area located near the river flowing east to west, right between the mountain ranges. I've marked it on your hunter map. Godspeed.
Sergeant. Our teams have a nickname for that location, the, uh, Maple Spot. I realize this might be dangerous, but your next mission is to collect the maple syrup buckets. You'll spot them easily. They're metal buckets hanging on maple trees. Good luck out there. Appreciate your efforts. There's one last thing we need to. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I can't keep a straight face anymore. Here's the reason we're preparing souvenirs for all participants as a thank you for all their contributions to supporting the reserve. That way, everyone goes home with a little taste of New England. That's all. If you don't mind, could you drop it off at the nearest outpost? Well, let me see. Okay, there's one in that valley. Just follow the river west. You would really be doing me a solid. I barely gave you any info on wood devils earlier. My bad. Maybe you've never heard of them, because they're endemic to New England and, well, they're almost extinct, unfortunately. They're mammals, slender build, gray fur. Thing is, they're tough to spot, even when you're close to them. They're extremely nimble, and they tend to hide behind trees when spooked. So you want to focus your search mainly on wooded areas. Hope this helps. Nashua. Sorry, I don't usually ask visitors to help with regular warden tasks, but we're short-staffed this week. Alright, alright. There's one last thing that you need to know about wood devils. One of their main characteristics, in fact. They're utterly and totally made up. <laughs> it's a small prank we like to play on newcomers. I make sure to come clean after a short while, though. Don't want to waste anyone's time. It's basically the New England version of the Sasquatch or Bigfoot. 
Some people claim they saw one, especially in the 19th and 20th centuries, but there hasn't been any scientific evidence. There's always a small chance it could be an undiscovered species, but it's pretty unlikely if you ask me. Many of our visitors love local myths and folklore, and so do I. It's a great way to share cool stories about my second home.